So I woke up the next morning and I saw that our 718 Boxster was sitting on a flat tire. This is Shep's Tech Cars. So about, I would say a couple of videos ago, I referenced in the Porsche Taycan unveil video that uh, of our Porsche Boxster getting a flat tire, our 718 getting a flat tire in our own driveway. Uh, and, a, and a couple of you guys commented on that video and asked, tell the story. So I'm going to tell that story. So without further ado, let's start back from the beginning. So it was a warm and sunny day here in Massachusetts and we were just doing errands around town in the Boxster. We usually don't like to drive the, the, the Boxster like really f on far distances. To, we want to keep those miles low so the resale value just keeps going up over time. Right now Boxsters are going for crazy crazy amounts but I'll talk about that in another video. So we were doing errands around the, we were doing errands around supermarket I think, stuff like that. So we were driving back on the way home from Fenway, from Boston and um, we got a, a tire notification up on the dashboard, a tire light saying minus seven on the uh, left rear tire. So we thought, oh well, it's fine. Uh, we'll just stop up at the gas station and get some air. So we arrived at the gas station and I got out to just check the tire, make sure there wasn't a puncture, a nail, a sharp rock that may have punctured the tire because minus seven is a pretty, pretty, good amount of air to come on a tire. So we I didn't see anything too major. It obviously was very dirty, but yeah, there wasn't a puncture uh, t t t as far as the eye can, my eye can see at least. Um, so I filled up the tire to the correct PSI and we drove the car back home. Now, uh, we live really close to a gas station, so at least we didn't have to drive very far just in case uh, if there really was a puncture. Now, since it was pretty late that day, we just parked the car in our driveway and um, and left it there for the night since it really, it was, uh, it, it was getting late and we didn't really want to drive it anymore. We didn't want to rack up those miles on the car, um, even though it's an, it is an amazing car to ride in. So, um, now we're going to head to the next day. Um, so, uh, so that, th this is Sunday. So Sunday morning, I look out, get up, look up, look out the, uh, look out the front door and I notice that the rear tire, what I think lost air overnight. So I went up closer and I'll put, if I find the pictures I took, I'll put them in the, uh, vi I'll put them in the, um, video, but the car, uh, lost a lot of air overnight and um as you can see in these pictures uh the tire was it was definitely had a leak in it um if it was either further back we really honestly don't know uh wh how it got punctured at all but all that mattered at that point was that air was coming out of the tire uh so and that means that we couldn't drive the car that day and of course it was a beautiful day as well to drive the car. However, uh, there was an even bigger problem. Uh, there was an even bigger pro. There was a bigger problem, bigger than uh, having getting a flat tire in our own driveway, and that was that the car was blocking our other two cars. That's right. So our driveway is set up pretty weirdly. Let me show you using some Porsche paperweights. So. Um, as you can see, our, our dry, our, I'm not going to show you my driveway outside right now, but uh, here's a pretty good representation on how our driveway kind of works. Okay, so here's, our, here's how our driveway works. We can fit three cars in our driveway. One right, one right here, and then you can, there's this little side spot where you can park another car, and then finally, the end of the driveway where our Boxster is parked. Now, the problem is, since the left rear tire was punctured and it had a, had a had a leak in it uh we couldn't drive the car 
and have a higher risk of damaging the rim, which is, you know, which is another problem, which I'll explain uh, in a couple of minutes. But basically, this since this car is technically undrivable, we can't get our other two cars out of the driveway. Now, after doing some quick research, I found out that the car ended up did it ended up having enough air to at least move out of the driveway and not risking damage on the rim. Now we now we, what we were even what eh, what were we nervous about was that we didn't want to damage the wheels because not only were our Porsche rims very expensive, but it's even more expensive if your wheels are powder coated. Of course, we bought a car that had powder coated wheels. You know how that factory, uh, you know how our car is black with black with red calipers? Well, the previous owner powder coated the 19 inch Boxster S wheels black, which don't get me wrong, it looks sick, and painted the calipers red with Porsche lettering. So, and so if we end up did damaging one of the wheels, we'd have to buy a new wheel, and then find a place to powder coat the wheel black so we wouldn't have a ran random silver wheel sticking out on our car. So my mom started the car and nervously backed out the car and put it in the street so we could at least access our other two cars in our driveway. So the only logical thing is to do was to call a tow truck and call a tow truck and have it towed to Porsche, our nearest Porsche dealership to get the tire fixed. And of course, we had to pop a tire on the day that services closed and the day after we got a paint correction, a ceramic coating, and a front PPF. We literally just got the car back after being in the customization shop for three weeks. So I waited around um, uh, with the car and uh, we called AAA, and a couple hours later, uh, the tire looked like this, and it was even it was even more flat, and as well as the tow truck arrived at our house. Now I was thankfully the tow truck driver knew what he was doing, and uh, used wood blocks to elevate the car so it wouldn't scrape against the bed, and uh, slowly drove the car up onto the trailer. Now, since it, service was closed that day, he, they were just gonna, the tow truck driver knew he was just gonna drop it off, give them a key, let them know that our car's in the parking lot and we need a new tire uh, as soon as possible, and then leave. Um, however, um, it, that, that's not exactly what happened. After the tow truck driver put the car up on the trailer, I Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of this since I was too focused on making sure the car was okay. It was in good hands The tow truck driver drove away and head headed into our nearest Porsche dealership, which is Herb Chambers Porsche They are awesome. They are highly recommend if you're gonna buy a if you're gonna buy a Porsche I highly recommend to going to shop at Herb Chambers Porsche. I was not paid to say that by the way I just really like the dealership. Okay moving on so uh, my mom and I were running errands again um, in in our other car, and um, and um, we decided that we were right near Herb Chambers Porsche, so we wanted to make sure the car arrived there safe, safely, and they knew about our car. So we arrived there, and our car was, um, and our car was sitting in the in their parking lot. And um, we went inside just to make sure that they knew that, that our car was there. Um, and you won't believe what happens next. So we arrive, so we walk in and we say, Pi, uh, we had our car towed over here. It's that black 718 Boxster over there. Um, I want to make sure that the tow truck, like, handed you the key, etc. So uh, they said, we weren't really aware that. Uh, this car was here, but thanks for letting us know. Do you have the key? Um, we were like, no. So we walked out to the car, and somehow the tow truck driver squeezed it into this tiny little space between an X7M and a fence. Like this little tiny small space. So the key wasn't there. 
and eventually they uh thankfully they found the key in the uh night drop in the night drop box so they we were like we were getting things out of it because just in case it was going to be there in a, for a while and then the sales manager comes out of the porsche dealership we say hi and then they said you're gonna have to this isn't our lot they're gonna you're gonna get fined you're gonna get towed uh you're gonna have to move it to the r lot the service lot you're we like it's in your lot they were like no this is bmw's lot so herb chambers porsche is on a on really close to 200 dealerships to the uh to the left of it is a bmw and mini dealership and to the right of it is a jaguar and land rover dealership so um this apparently the tow truck driver didn't really know that there were two separate lots and parked it in the bmw lot and at this point the tire was basically flat so we had absolutely no choice but to get the car out of that tiny space and move it to the Porsche lot. So my mom nervously started the car and put it in drive and moved it very slowly because remember we're trying not to damage the wheel because then that will be an even more expensive mis uh, repair. Not mistake, repair. So. Uh, thankfully, there was no rim damage, the tire got replaced the next day, and, uh, the car was parked, we eventually parked the car in the Porsche lot, so, and they fixed it really, really quickly, so I am really, really thankful, uh, that they fixed it so quickly, so, thanks God, if, any, if anyone from Herb Chambers Porsche is watching, thank you so much. And that is the story on how we got a flat tire in our own driveway. I really hope you guys do did enjoy this story time video. Let me guys know if you want me to do more story time videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.